A community is fighting, wanting an eyesore gone. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. It's a story we've told you about before. Tonight, Mayor Andy Berg met with members of the Lupton City community to talk about what can be done to take away a partially demolished mill. Brittany Nicholson was there for the discussion. Brittany. Josh, Kim, tonight dozens of community members asked the mayor what's next for the old mill that founded that neighborhood. Residents say they've waited long enough to see something done. Nearly a hundred years ago, the old Dixie Yarns Mill employed hundreds and built a community. Today, it's stripped apart, leaving those nearby to deal with what's left. It just kind of rips at your heart to see that mill just gutted like it is. And to know that the small community that used to work at that mill is now the ones that are really trying to get it cleaned up. Just a few years ago, Burke says the mill was bought by Georgia based the Dockery Group took what they could from the property and left the residents in the city of Chattanooga to deal with what is left. And that's just shameful. Now, the city says that company is bankrupt and owes $100,000 in back taxes. We're going to need to work with the Neighborhood Association. At tonight's meeting, Mayor Burke addressed Lupton City residents about what can be done now. It's disgusting and it's infuriating. They discuss grants and other resolutions in the mess that looms nearly in some front yards. The city says it doesn't have enough money to move it all. What we've estimated is that to just clean up the, um, the bricks and all the stuff down there is about a million dollars. Now, if the Godocry Group does pay the back taxes by does not pay, excuse me, the back taxes by 2016, the site will belong to the city and the county. Josh. Brittany, thank you. Mayor Burke says the city and the Dockery Group are scheduled to be in court on Thursday. Depend on us to keep you updated.